there's a debate about who is the restrainer is, okay? People say it's this or it's that, okay? Some people say it's the church, okay? Yeah, well, it is the Holy Spirit, but, and I will defend that in the longer argument that I give, and we'll go through this again in 2 Thessalonians. But people say, well, it's not the Holy Spirit, it's the church. What defines the church? The believers who are indwelt by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Absolutely. So it, it doesn't matter if you say, oh, it's the church is the restrainer. The church is restraining, which it's not. The church can't get out of its own way. The Holy Spirit is the restrainer. Okay. So when the church is taken out, the Holy Spirit in the believers is taken out. Now people say, well, isn't the Holy Spirit God and he's everywhere? Yes. But that's a, a misunderstanding of what Paul is speaking about. God is everywhere. He's omnipotent, he's omnipresent, he's omniscient, okay? He's all three of those things. But what that is referring to is the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. In other words, in the tabernacle, there was the presence of God above the cherubim, right? God is everywhere. But there was a specific presence in the tabernacle of God. He had revealed himself in a certain way at that point in human history and in time and space, okay? It's the same thing with the Holy Spirit. We are sealed by the Holy Spirit, and we are bearing the same thing that happened in the tabernacle is happening to us. There is a, a, uh, a pinpointing of God in each believer. That is what's taken out. God doesn't take himself out of anything in the big picture. It's just that ceiling, okay? Those people who have it. So, it says, um, and then the, uh, okay, uh, for the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Now, Get this right here, and you'll get the timing of the, the rapture, and you'll get the fact that we won't be here. It says, only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken away. Holy Spirit's taken out. Believers are taken out because the Holy Spirit will never leave us. He is our guarantee of our future redemption, right? Everybody agree with that? Yep. Uh, next words, verse 8. And, and then, ke tote in Greek, and then the lawless one will be revealed. So, don't listen to this for your doctrine as far as the Antichrist being revealed. You, if you are a saved believer in Jesus Christ, will not be here when the Antichrist is going to be revealed. And then. Now.